Character on Track presents Champions on Track. Connecting local champions of character to the classroom. Perseverance. Today's topic is perseverance. Building good character requires perseverance. Today's program is being sponsored by Now, let's meet some of our champions. Hi, my name is Joy Bilal and I go to Lincoln High School. I'm involved in Statesman, Captain Council, and Best Buddies. I play volleyball and I run track. Um, my plans after high school is to go to college, but I'm still in the process of deciding where I want to go. One thing I remember from elementary school is to always be a bucket filler and not a bucket dipper. This was important to me because I knew that this could make my classmates' stays better and my teachers. Hi, I'm a senior at Lincoln High School. My name is Lila. I'm involved in cross country, track, captain's council, salsa, and national honor society. One thing that I really had fun with in elementary school was playing Foursquare. I'm going to go to college next year, but I'm still waiting to hear back from schools to decide where I'm going to be going. Hey guys, I'm Keegan Sigal. I'm a senior here at Lincoln High School. Um, I absolutely love music and I'm involved in the band here and the orchestra as well as I sing in choir. Um, one thing I loved from elementary school was always music class. I'm um, considering going to college next year, but I'm still waiting to hear back from most colleges, but I am going to go into electrical engineering. Hey guys, what's up? Gabe Gutierrez here. I'm a junior here at Lincoln, and I know what you guys are thinking. I've been there before in elementary school, teachers showing you the videos, and you just think it's something else. But seriously, stick with me. This one's going to be worth it. I'm currently involved with the Lincoln football team, Lincoln captain council, Lincoln track, and I lived here at Lincoln as well. And currently involved with the captain's council, National Honor Society, as well as just being around and hanging out with the community. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this presentation and my college plans are to, to go as far as football can take me and see where I can go and hopefully in the future go to the NFL. If that doesn't work out then I want to go for a strength and conditioning degree and I just want to get my, do something involved with sports and just be out there in the world. Hey guys, my name is Cameron Downey. I'm a senior here at Lincoln. I'm currently involved with soccer. Um, I loved all things music. I was in choir for three years um, with the the ensembles and all the stuff like that. Um, one thing in elementary school I loved was playing lightning. I remember we used to play lightning so much, even if we didn't have basketballs, we would play with deflated uh, four square balls. Um, that was just a great thing I, I remember about uh, elementary school. Um, currently, I'm thinking about going to University of Nebraska at Omaha to study business and just make as much money as I can so I can travel the world. What is Character on Track? At Character on Track, we believe that every student and adult has the ability to have and show good character. We have five marks of character we focus on. Trustworthiness, respect, accountability, citizenship, and kindness. These are parts of your character. But do you know what else it takes to have good character? Good character requires perseverance. You must keep working at it. According to the dictionary, perseverance is persistence in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. Let's see if we can break this down a bit and make it a little easier to understand. Let's say you're doing your schoolwork and it's a hard subject. Maybe it's a tough math problem or an essay. Or maybe you have to stand up in class and make a presentation. Whatever it is, you are struggling with it because it's tough. Maybe you want to just give up or take the easy way out and not apply yourself. Inside, you know that's not what you need to do. You need perseverance. You need the power of yet. Let me explain. If you can't do this, you say to yourself, I can't do this yet. I'm not good at this yet. I don't understand this 
yet. This isn't working for me, yet. This doesn't make sense to me, yet. If you can't do it right now, keep practicing. You just can't do it yet. So why is perseverance important? Because without it, you won't finish your work. You won't be doing your best. You won't learn what you need to learn. And if you don't persevere, your next problem will be even harder to do. Also, you get a great feeling from trying your best and finally succeeding. It's called satisfaction. You will be proud that you did it. Now, let's hear from our seniors and see what they have to say about perseverance. Hey guys, we just watched the video on what perseverance means and the power of yet. To me, perseverance means never giving up. In high school, I run 300 hurdles and that's a really tough race for me, but that means staying behind after practice and attacking those hurdles with my coaches even when my friends leave. Some of you may be getting into sports and finding what, what sport is your favorite. That means trying things that are challenging and hard for you. I remember in middle school I fell, in, fell at the 100 hurdles in front of everyone and their parents. I could have just walked off and called it a day but I kept on practicing and pushing myself and staying behind at practice when all my friends went home. Last year, I found myself competing at the state, turn state track meet at, at Rapid City. To me, perseverance is working hard at the things I care about. Throughout high school, I've worked really hard in running in school to push myself to be the best version of myself. Whether it's really hard long runs, running up hills, running lots of miles every week and having to run in the cold. All of it has, I've ran all of it to be able to be better and be better for my teammates. In school, I've worked hard by taking hard classes and studying to learn as much as I can and explore possibilities for what I want to do in college and after. You'll learn more and more if you keep going and you'll widen your horizons the harder you work. To me, perseverance is never, never letting yourself give up on your passions. I remember my first day of uh, marching band camp out in the hot sun at Axel Park um, on the football field, and we were trying to you know, get in step, learning how to hold my instrument, and I just didn't think I could really do it. It was really difficult for me. Um, I really wanted to quit, but I never let myself uh, stoop to just being mediocre. I really wanted to achieve that perfection and being able to do that is really what I believe perseverance is all about. Alright, hey guys, Gabe again, and in my opinion perseverance is having the will and having the grit to fight through even though everything in your body is telling you not to. There's always that times where you're trying to reach for a goal, you're trying to reach for something in life and you feel like everything's going wrong against you, everything's going against you and I feel like perseverance is like having that that drive and having that determination to fight through whatever you're going through and just finish and accomplish that goal. One of my favorite quotes has come from Muhammad Ali and he says, suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion. And to me that's like the very sole definition of perseverance because he's talking about you're going to go through hardships, you're going to fight, you're going to go through all the bad things, but it takes perseverance to get the, through those things and if you do that, you'll live your life as a champion as he says and you'll live with whatever goal you wanted. One of my favorite stories of, of elementary school, or one of my favorite memories, I guess, was the, um, the fifth grade Fridays at Great Bear. I remember I was so excited to go and finally learn how to snowboard with all my friends. And I was, I was just a fifth grader. I was learning how to do so many things. And this was just another opportunity for me to grow. And what do you know? As soon as I go to Great Bear, I go up to the top of the hill, and I'm so scared. I sit down on my snowboard and ride the hill right into some woods and all my friends were making fun of me and it was very very discouraging but you know what my friends were good enough friends to help me back up put that snowboard on my feet and take me back up that hill and they helped me down and that was just so powerful for me because I think perseverance it's not it doesn't always have to be on your own um, my favorite experience is persevering with my friends one of my favorite things is having my friends help me with my goals and they can help you with yours too. All you gotta do is choose your right friends and they can help you with anything. Character on track. 
So who do we know that has demonstrated perseverance? Let's take a look at a few examples. Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. Did you know he tried over 2,000 times to make it work? Today we have light because he did not quit. He persevered. Michael Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team. Did he quit? No, he persevered and became the most valuable player in the NBA five times. Albert Einstein couldn't speak until he was four years old. His teachers said he wouldn't amount to much. Well, he persevered and went on to become one of the greatest scientists in history. These people all used perseverance, the power of yet to find success. The skills they developed and the opportunities they needed are acquired over time through practice and effort. They saw their challenges as their opportunities and they pushed themselves. Turning this doesn't work to this doesn't work yet makes all the difference. You add this three-letter word at the end of a sentence and suddenly anything is possible. Let's go back to our champions of character and learn some more about perseverance. With that, perseverance means that you're going to make some mistakes. With hurdles, I knew that was a big, big thing for me, that I could fall any time. But I went to practice and I stayed consistent in my work. And last year, I competed at Black Hills for the state, state meet. And I competed and I placed within the top eight runners for hurdles. You can show perseverance by knowing that just because you can't initially do something, it doesn't mean you should quit. I went to a Spanish immersion school, and so when I started off, I didn't know any Spanish. With all of my teachers speaking to me in Spanish, it was really hard, and it felt sometimes really impossible to go to school. However, over my first year there, I was able to learn Spanish and persevere through that initial challenge. Just because you can't do something right now doesn't mean you can't do it in the future. I think showing perseverance is learning to be able to overcome your mistakes no matter what happens to you. My freshman year, I joined band and I was in the lowest level band and I saw the people in the highest level band and I never thought I could be that good. But I auditioned every single year to be in that band and I auditioned three times and only on the third time did I make it. Every time I didn't make it in, it was very disheartening to see my own friends, the people I knew, make it in even though I had worked just as hard as they did. But I just kept picking myself back up and I learned that no matter what happens to you, you always have to remain cheerful and flexible and keep trying. Perseverance, perseverance, perseverance. This big word that they all keep saying and it's probably just going right through your ears and right through the other one. But perseverance is honestly one of the biggest things that you can have in life. Like for example, you can use it in sports, jobs, life, school, anything you want. One way that perseverance has helped me is I remember being in a little kid, your guys' age, elementary school, and I used to train every single day for football. I would run hills, I would do drills with my dad, I would play little one-on-one -on -one drills with my brother. And me and my brothers, we would always just be competitive and go at it. And sooner or later, they would start going away as they got older, and I was out there all by myself. And I just looked around, and as I'm running these hills, and I'm at the top of the hill, I look around, and like, I realize no one else is around me. And I was, it makes you really wonder what you want to do. And, all these hills were just, they were really hard to run. You had to run a whole bunch and you're tired, you're sweaty, you, your legs are dead, you, wanna, you just want to go home. But as I persevered through that and I looked at the bigger picture of my goals, it came to where I am now. And right now, I'm a varsity starter. I started as a sophomore. I'm all state. I'm in the paper as the Elite 45. I've gone to the colleges. I've done my visits. And it really shows the power of grit and perseverance because not too long ago, I was running those hills, wanting to quit, questioning whether I really want to do football or not. And here, here I am now, just enjoying my life and happy that I had football as one of my biggest outlets. Now we've been talking a lot about perseverance. And with perseverance comes success, but it also comes responsibility. Now we've been talking about character as well. And character means this. It means you're trustworthy, which means you keep your promises. People trust you. It means you have to gain respect which means you treat others with respect and you accept other people even if they're different. Another thing is accountability, which means you can count on somebody else and somebody can count on you. That's what accountability is. 
Last, uh, second to last one is citizenship, which means you do your fair share to make the school better, and you become involved, you volunteer, do things like that. Last one is kindness. Kindness is a, probably a little more simple, but it, it means that you show that you care, you say please and thank you, you forgive others, and you bring out the best in others. We've just learned that good character requires perseverance, strength, and grit. Do you persevere? Do you continue to work hard to build your good character? Perseverance is viewing challenges and mistakes as opportunities to become better. You just can't do them yet. We've learned that you don't always see the results right away. Making a difference may take a little time, but if you persevere, you will see the results. Our champions of character have a pretty good idea of what perseverance means. Let's hear from them just one more time. One thing I want to leave with you guys today is don't let anyone alter your goals. Keep your eyes on the prize. You can be the one in the top of your class, and you can be that amazing athlete that you admire. One, I want you to remember to be kind to those around you. Your actions leave great impressions on people, and it's always good to treat others with kindness. This is something that will help you throughout your entire life and can help you make lots of memorable friendships. If there's one thing I wanted you to take away from this today is to never let yourself give up on your passions. If I would have given up on band my freshman year just because just it was hard, I would have missed out on so much fulfillment and opportunities that I now have because I put in some work. If there's something you want to achieve, all you have to do is put in a little perseverance and you'll be able to do it. Hopefully you guys are still here with us. And if you are, <laughs> here's my five things that I want you guys to leave this video with. Number one, don't be afraid to try. No matter what, it's always scary to try something new, but once you do it, I promise you it'll be worth it in the end. Number two, don't be afraid to fail. Failure is just it's a part of success. If you look at all the greats out there, I guarantee you they've had at least one failure in their life and it, don't look at it as a lesson, that, or don't look at it as a loss, look at it as a lesson. There's two different ways you can look at it and honestly, failure is just a part of success. Number three, don't be afraid to be different. Different is okay. It's okay to not be like everyone else. It's okay to not be a part of the posse and it's okay to not be a part of every other group. That if you look at anyone out there that's famous in the world, celebrities in the world, or even not celebrities, if you just look at people that you look up to in the world, they're, they're not like anyone else, and there's only one type of them. Everyone was made on this earth to make a unique impact on the world, and everyone's made specifically for themselves. So just remember to be different. And for my last two, smile and be happy. Just do the best you can to be happy. Do the best to make others smile, make yourself smile, and always remember your self-worth. If you remember nothing else from today, remember, remember this. You are never alone. You're always going to have somebody there to help you along the way. All the great successes in history came from a good team around whoever was successful. And I'm telling you this today, build your team. Build your group of friends, your, your group of people that will support you and lift you up. And I promise you, you will be successful. We'd like to express our sincere appreciation to all of our champions of character who helped us with this project. Also, our champions and all of us here at Character on Track would like you to remember your character not only tells us who you are, but who you are going to become.